Hi everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. In this episode, we're going to give the Tamiya Blackfoot 2016 re-release a facelift. Well, actually more like a complete makeover. So first, I just wanted to share that the Blackfoot, the re-release, has a very special place on this channel. It's almost like the foundation of this channel because Back in 2017, the first RC I purchased for a restoration was the High Rider Corvette. But simultaneously, I went online and I purchased the 2016 Blackfoot re-release. So this technically was my first new inbox kit uh, when I got back into the hobby. And I'm calling it the foundation of the channel because this is kind of what got me hooked, right? That, that love for building and, and then running. So it has been featured in a number of videos on my channel. And I have to say it's probably one of my favorite, definitely in the top 10. So with that, what am I gonna be doing uh, where I say I'm gonna be giving this a complete makeover? Well, um, it's box art. And don't get me wrong, I love box art. A majority of my RCs are box art. I just feel like it's time to move away from that. <laughs> I know Harry's probably gonna be watching this being like, yes, no box art. Uh, I just wanna do something a little different. You know, in a, in a couple, you know, not a couple episodes ago, but a, a while ago, I did a whole clone series of how to make a 2016 Blackfoot look like the original uh, Blackfoot back from the mid 80s. And, um, you know, I use a series of Ampro engineering 3D parts like the grill and the Ford lettering in the front, um, you know, to make it look like the original. And that was, you know, three episodes. So I have this body and I love it. And one day, if I ever want to showcase up on the shelf uh, a Blackfoot, I have this body. And uh, but for this, I'm thinking something a little different. I'm going to peel off the stickers, and luckily, when I got this back in the day, <laughs> I did not paint it. I asked the rookie question. The rookie question was, it's black. Do I have to paint it black? And everyone was like, no, just throw stickers on it. Some people were like, just throw stickers and give it a shot of clear coat. Some people were just like, no, you got to prime it and paint it. I just went with sticking the stickers on there. So I'm just going to peel off the stickers. I'm going to sand down the body, prime it, get it painted a different color. Uh, as for the chassis, which comes standard red, I went out and got a parted out chassis off of the Beetle Black Edition, which I don't know, really isn't black, it's more like a dark gray. So I'm going to throw this on there. And because of our, you know, race season, I realized I'm going to break a couple parts on this. And I actually have broken a couple parts on this. And so to reinforce the front, I went out and I bought an entire. <laughs> aluminum set uh, to swap out the whole front um, and make it aluminum nice and shiny. So uh, this cost a little over a hundred bucks from uh, a seller on eBay uh, came from overseas. So we're going to swap that whole front end out for aluminum, swap out the whole chassis, um, open up the gearbox, give it a nice clean. And just so you know, I am running the MIP uh, ball differential in here. And then we're going to get the body all painted up. So there's really a lot to get to in this episode. So I'm just going to be popping back from time to time just to give you some updates of where we are. And uh, hopefully this comes out like the vision I have in store for it. And um, here we go. All right. Well, that's the easy part. The Blackfoot is torn down into different sections. So now begins phase one, right? Putting the... Uh, chassis together. So let me get this apart and this one together and then I'll be right back. All right and there's the chassis all done. Pretty easy. Got the servo mounted on there. Now you just got to give everything else a quick wipe down a good clean and then uh, get it onto the chassis and then add some of the cool aluminum parts on.
All right, the chassis is all done. It looks awesome in all black and the all bling bling front aluminum parts. Awesome. Definitely looks better than the red chassis in my opinion. Now, if it was up to me, I'd be playing ACDC's back in black right now, but for copyright laws and infringement, I don't want to put that on the channel. <laughs> but yeah, this is awesome. And uh, I can't wait now to get the body all painted up, which I haven't even said what color I'm doing yet or what the paint scheme is going to be. But I started to peel off the stickers and realized it wasn't as easy as I thought. I thought I'd just be able to sit down and take like five minutes and just yank the stickers off. Man, it was, they were really on there. Uh, and then once I got them off, I started with 400 grit sandpaper and did a, a wet sanding of the front because this is where it was really scuffed up and scratched right over here in the front on the corners over here and over here from rolling over and for the most part just with the 400 grit sandpaper this is like super smooth um, I took out all the scratches and all the scuffs for the most part so I'm really pleased with that now I'm gonna go on to 600 and work my way up to 800 and then finish it off at a thousand and then prime it this area right up here, uh, not so much because you have like um, the, the molding over here of the window ledge up here, which is kind of all scuffed up. And no matter how much I sand and try to smooth it down, um, you know, it still looks kind of jaggedy. So what's going to end up happening is as I work my way from 400 up to 1,000, I have a feeling this line right over here is just going to eventually wear away. So, but again... This is not going to be a shelf queen. This is going to be a runner. So if it doesn't come out perfect, so be it. Because it's going to be on the racetrack. It's going to be flipping over, rolling over, hit by other monster trucks out there. So just want to make it look presentable and clean to start off with. And then have some fun with it after. All right, so now I'm going to get on to the 600 grit and work my way up. And then uh, I'll check back in and shoot it with some primer after that. Well, here it is. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think, but I have to say I love it. I had a vision and this was it. And I'm glad I was able to make it a reality. It turned out perfect. This is exactly what I wanted and I couldn't be more happy. However, along the way, there was one minor little issue, you know, in typical Ari fashion, you know, a big screw up kind of, but uh, it actually turned out for the best. 
You see, right after I was done uh, painting the red uh, on the body, I waited 24 hours, and then I went to put the clear coat on, and I went a little too heavy on my second coat, specifically on the bed area and the tailgate, and the paint started to spider web and then peel up, and I started to freak out. I was like, oh my God, all this hard work, I'm gonna have to start all over. And so I just waited for it another 24 hours to dry, and then I was like, you know what? I kind of lucked out because it's only the bed and the tailgate. And so I just wet sanded it down uh, right through the clear coat, right through the red down to the primer. And then, uh, you know, I was actually on the phone with Harry and I was talking to him a little bit about it. And I was telling him how I'm just gonna, you know, just repaint everything red. And he was like, it's the bed of the truck. You should do it in a flat black. And I was like, you know what? I thought about it, but I just wanted to keep things simple and just do everything in one color. He's like, nah, trust me, do it in flat black. It'll look so much better. It'll look realistic. And you know what? He was absolutely right. Glad I listened to him. I had some Tamiya uh, flat black, sprayed it up. I had some flat clear coat as well. It looks awesome. It definitely makes a truck look a little bit more realistic. And I was very, very happy with how that came out. As for the tailgate, well, um, not perfect, but definitely a whole lot better than that spider web look that you see up here in the corner. Um, it was just a little tricky to wet sand around the lettering on there. This lettering, uh, like you saw in the video before, is um, the Ampro Engineering 3D printed Ford badging that you can get off of Shapeways. Um, and so, you know, it was just hard to get in between the letters, but I managed and it looks a hundred times better. So overall, I'm again, very pleased with how this came out. I am really looking forward to getting this out on the track uh, for our race season two. Um, last season I came in second overall and I'm looking to build off of that momentum and you know, hopefully definitely improve this race season. So we're gonna enter this in the monster truck class and you know, hopefully we can do you know, a lot better than last year. And I'm just super pleased again, I can't mention that enough how this turned out. You know, after three and a half years, with the uh, Blackfoot box art, I just thought it was time for change, and you know, I'm glad I decided to you know go through with it and just you know do a complete you know different color scheme on here. So awesome, awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up, and of course, be well. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care.